Hey, it's Dustin from Dallas, Texas, delivering a bunch of airplane tires. You're watching TJV on YouTube. Like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day. Breakfast for a weasel. Whose birthday was it yesterday? Whose birthday was it? Busy. Busy. Diesel turned eight years old yesterday. Good boy. Still probably full from his big salmon dinner yesterday. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Chevy and Frank. Breakfast time. So yesterday and today is the, the big days that we've been waiting for and saving for. Our roofing crew is here again. This is day two. We didn't film yesterday. Uh, they tore our roof off yesterday and they're putting on our metal roof. They're just back there right now. They asked if they could bring their truck and trailer into the backyard. I don't care. It's a lot easier for them. They don't have to carry it all the way around from the front. And I drive my truck back there all the time. We hired Watson's Roofing. Best roofers around in our opinion, and in the opinion of everyone else that we've talked to, who has had work done by them. Absolutely. Let's so they're, uh, they did the front of the house today. I'll show you in a little bit. Uh, they, no, they did the front of the house yesterday, and they're just doing the back peak today, and the gutters all the way around, so that we have control of the water that comes off the roof, which we didn't have before. So Here's the new roof. Did you find that drip edge there, Will? So they still gotta put the gutters on here all along here and they're just working on that over there the other guys are in the back so it's a charcoal color and then it's like a brown charcoal that's what you say and then we're painting the house uh, a nice rich blue well, match that no. Painting you find that, uh, either way, it's gonna be blue. Hey, mm -hmm. you find the drip edge? I like it. I really like it. Yeah. Yeah. I like the fact that it's not gonna rain inside my house this spring. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking yesterday. Like we these are all just thoughts that we have. Thinking of maybe sanding down these, uh, getting them back to the way they used to be, and restain them. So this whole deck is all nicely stained. Same thing with the deck, but rich wood grain. We'll see. Mm -hmm. There's, there's a lot of projects to be done, but hey, at least we're starting them now and we have the main thing, the roof, right? Without the roof, you can't do any other projects. So the roof is just about complete. They just got to finish the downspouts tomorrow. But Diesel and I, we got to head out on a trip. So I've got all my stuff here. Britt bought me a new blanket. I'm really excited. Already got to use it, break it in for two nights. All my stuff in here. Get my computer over there. Fill my belly with some spaghetti. Get the dogs food all set so Weasel has food to eat. Chevy, you're gonna stay here and protect mom, right? Right? Diesel's gonna come with me. What are you doing? What are you, what are you, where are you going? Where are you going? What? Goofball. So yeah, we're very happy uh, with Watson Roofing. It was actually our friend who owns the company and my cousin actually worked with him for many, many years. Uh, my cousin Will that you guys have met, uh, he's worked there for many years and this year he started trucking, or was it? No, last year he started trucking again already. He drives that nice Peterbilt, uh, the tanker. Met up with him in Wisconsin a little while ago. But yeah, we got the gutters on here now, so no more downpour all over. Oh, they still got their ladders here. Yeah, they're gonna come get those tomorrow, I guess. Got to do the downspouts. We're gonna have to sell our pet alligator. We're not gonna have a moat around our house anymore. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye, Al. Alligator. I didn't know we had an alligator. Yeah, I was gonna the shop. Oh. <laughs> a crocagator? Yeah, him and Diesel don't get along, so I hide. <laughs> See, we used to always have a, a ton of water just because we had no gutters at all. So it would just fly right off the roof and it actually created like a big valley almost in front of our house. 
Now you can see where the downspout's gonna be. Right where it's coming down there. It's gonna be one there, one at the end of the house, and then two more this way as well yet. They still have their trailer over there. I think finish that tomorrow. Oh, they have some batteries charging down here in front of the door too. Must have forgot those. Yeah, I think he said he was gonna leave them here for tomorrow. He needs them tomorrow. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. But anyway, so it's time for me to get loaded up in the truck and we need to head down to Missouri. I gotta try and be down there for tomorrow night, yes, but I gotta deliver the day after tomorrow and then pick up a load down in Jackson, Tennessee. That's why I kind of jumped on this load. I wanted to be home an another day to see the completed project, but they offered me freight down south. And you know, I've been wanting to go down south for a while, so I took it. When you get back anyways. Yep, I'm gonna be here when I get back. So let's get everything packed up here. I can pretty much fit everything I have on the road into this truck, I mean, into this bag now. They'll just throw that bag into the truck. Well, we are back here. Tying down this load, getting ready to head out. Taking this down to St. Peter's, Missouri, USA. This is getting me down to my load of steel that I'm picking up in Jackson, Tennessee. Oh, it's different lengths, look at that. I didn't even see that. It's a little windy out here, but. Better get her tied down. Let's hit the road. This lumber came out of Winnipeg, I believe. Someone else picked it up for me. Brought it here. Oh. Put my, put, put my don't run over me vest on. Even though I'm the only one here, that's okay. No exceptions. Gotta wear my don't run over me vest. Oh, my zipper's coming apart here. Ah, am I getting fat or is this thing shrinking? Hey, there we go. All right, nobody should run over me now, right? And also, it's cold out here. It's 12 degrees Celsius out here. I'm f I'm, I'm filming this in August still. Like it, it, it's, it shouldn't be this cold, but good thing we come prepared. This is the first time of the season I am putting on a toque. Should I make some kind of ceremony out of it, Diesel? No? It is way too early for this. My wife made me muffins. Mm. Oh, I'm a messy eater. Ah, it's okay. It's worth it. Blueberry muffins. I think these blueberries came from our bush. She battled a hive of wasps for these things. Just so that I could have a muffin. I actually got a whole container full. Mm. What a woman. So uh, I made it to Fergus Falls last night. We're just gonna continue the vlog here a little bit longer because I, I didn't get much filmed yesterday. We left so late and uh, we got here at quarter to three in the morning. So my 10 hours are just up now and we're about to get rolling. So I'm gonna take you a little further down the road with me so that there's a little bit more for you to see. Let's get out there. We're gonna be driving late into the night again because we're getting going so late. We drove so late. So now, now our uh, schedule's a little messed up, but Whatever. We'll deliver this lumber into uh, St. Peter's, Missouri tomorrow. I'm gonna head down to Jackson. I'll probably load, well, th there's a trailer waiting for me loaded in Jackson already. I'll probably pick it up on Friday morning. And then we have all the way until Tuesday to get it to Red Deer, Alberta. So we got a long time. It's a, like a three and a half day drive or so. And that'll give us, uh, what, it'll go Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, it'll go four days get there. So that'll be perfect.
bales coming up here beside me. And look how close his bales are to the back of his sleeper. It's practically touching his truck. How does he make corners? Look at this. Look at this. Literally an inch. I guess you couldn't really see it on the video there, right? Eh? An inch from his side fairings. Manitoba plates. He's from Canada. <laughs> Dude, buddy, how do you make corners? You're going to bend up your side fairings. Yikes. I guess it's been working so far, eh? <laughs> Whatever works. I'm about an hour from Minneapolis right now, or maybe a little more. Just trucking along. Doing my 62 mile an hour. I'm getting really good fuel economy today, actually. Really good. We're at uh, 30 liters per 100 kilometers right now. And uh, that's pretty good for hauling like 45,000 pounds. where we'll end up tonight. I, I won't make it all the way to the customer tonight, I know that. We'll have a couple of hours to go tomorrow yet. Uh, and then we'll have, uh, what, a four and a half, five hour drive down to Jackson, Tennessee. I'm really looking forward to that. I never go down there anymore, I don't know why. I mean, I can't really complain. I wouldn't want to be sent down there all the time like I used to be because it's kind of nice being home a little more often now. I don't go as far, which means that on my route, I swing past home almost every trip, which was unheard of on dry bands when I was doing that. Every once in a while, it would be nice. That's a high country, Silverado right there. Ooh, fancy. You know, those new Chevy Silverados are actually growing on me. I hated them when they first released that body design. I still like my body design better, but I don't hate these new ones anymore. I don't hate them. I don't think I would buy one? I don't think. I mean, give it another couple of years, maybe, but in another couple of years, they'll have a new body design again, right? They keep changing it. That, that way, everybody wants a new truck all the time. That's what I would do if I owned a vehicle business. Like, I'd, You want your customers to keep wanting the newer, better one, right? Cell phone companies are famous for that. Right? You buy a phone, and in a year, it's outdated, and you gotta buy the new one. And if you don't buy the new one, well, they'll just create an update for your phone that makes your phone useless without it, but it also can't handle it. So you got to get the new phone so you can get the new upgrade. Sneaky, but smart business, in my opinion. It's, it's the way you work the market. Create something that's in high demand. And then constantly keep improving it so people need the newest, best version. Exactly the same thing I would do. I have a Huawei phone right now, or a Huawei. I don't think I'm gonna get another Huawei phone. I don't know. It's a decent phone, like, it does the job. It's a phone. It's more of like a camera with a phone attached to it. But uh, with all the things going on right now around this brand, it's a Chinese brand, right? And We'll see what happens. I think I, I still, I'll still have this phone for like another year or two. We'll see what happens at the end of it. I'll need to upgrade sooner or later, right? Eventually it's gonna be obsolete. It's about time to check our load, make sure that nothing fell off. From what I can see in the mirrors, looks like we should be good, but we gotta get out and check anyway. It's the rest area just before Minneapolis. The next rest area will be after. Uh, we're going straight south of Minneapolis. I think that's what, I-35? Right, going down through Iowa. Oh, 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 yikes, they gotta work on that a little bit. All right, let's, let's see if there's a parking spot. This place looks pretty busy right now. What, what in the world? There's one spot there. Oh boy, I'm taking a risk by going to the end here. I think I see a spot open over here. That guy's taking up two spots. That's kind of him. There we go. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna park right in here. And park taking up just one spot because that's what we do. Just mark myself down here. Let the uh, 
let the good old people know that I am checking my load right now on duty not driving turn this bad boy off don't want to waste any fuel we don't need you need to oh boy these shorts are a little bit tight for driving uh, I don't want to get new shorts this season though because the season's almost over I mean, even just down here in Minneapolis, all of the trees here are in so much better shape than the ones up north. And what I mean by that is that the trees in our yard are changing color already. It's ridiculous. We just had summer. Now the leaves are all turning color. But here in Minneapolis, no leaves are changing colors yet. So good for you guys. Good for you guys. Oh, yeah. Let's go give her a look-see over here. Yep, still there. So we'll go around, we'll check all of the straps and make sure that they're all still tight. Check to make sure nothing has shifted. Make sure that everything is still the way it's supposed to be. And that'll be that. So I'm gonna end today's vlog here and continue from here tomorrow morning with you guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. And if you think other people should watch my videos, share it to your friends. I'll see you guys tomorrow. See how far we get.